kids, welcome to Acknowledge Series by Amit Publication. I am Arthur Sethi and I will be taking up the Computer Series for Class 1. This is your book, Let's Click a Trendy Way to Learn Computers. Now let's come to the third chapter which is Parts of a Computer. Now children, as we know that a plant has many parts, also, you have many body parts and each body part that you have is used to perform different functions, right? So, the same way, a computer also has many parts and each of these parts does its own job. So, today we will learn about different parts of a computer in detail, right? Let's do it. So, what are the main parts of a computer? Let us learn about them. First, we will talk about a monitor. What is a monitor? You can see here, this is the screen. It looks like a television. It displays the work that we do on a computer. Whatever you are doing on a computer will be displayed on this screen that we have. Okay, and this is called a monitor, right? We use it to watch cartoons, videos and movies on the monitor, correct? So, this is a monitor which looks like a television. Next, we have a keyboard, right? Just like children, you use your pencil to write in your notebooks. You must have something to write on the computers and for that comes a keyboard. Keyboard is used to write on the computer, and when you write on the computer, it is called typing. Correct? Right? So, a keyboard has many small buttons called keys. These small buttons that you see here, these are all keys. It helps us to give instructions to a computer, right? So, using the term keyboard, we can type letters, numbers, and so many other things. Now, this is a mouse. Have you seen a mouse in your houses sometimes? Yeah, I must. You must have seen mouses. Now, this is also a mouse that is connected to the computer. It looks very similar to the real mouse, but it is it is very similar to the real mouse. It is connected to the CPU box by a long wire that looks like a tail. Can you see here? A real mouse also has a tail and this computer mouse also has a tail which is a long wire. Now, you can see that it has two buttons. One is here and this is the second button and we have a scroll wheel in between. You can select and open things on the monitor where these buttons. Alright? Is it clear to you children? Shall we move forward? Thank you. Now, this is a CPU. So, what does a CPU stand for? A CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Okay? This is a CPU and this is inside this CPU box and it is called the Brain of the computer, just like you have brains, right? A computer also has a brain that controls the workings of the computer. So, it is a central processing unit. It is inside the CPU box. It controls all the other parts of the computer, all the working that is happening there. And it is the brain of the computer. Help the computer to do different things fast and easily. Right children? Did you get this? Very good. Let's move on to the fact part. It says the keyboard was first invented by Christopher Latham Scholes. Christopher Latham Scholes was the first person who invented the keyboard. Right? And the first computer mouse was invented by Douglas T. Engelbach. Right? You will remember this, right? Very good. Let's move on to the other parts of the computer. 
So some of the parts that are attached to computer are a printer. Have you seen a printer, children? I'm sure you must have. A printer is used to take a copy of the information stored in your computer on a sheet of paper. So whatever is stored in the computer, you can take out a hard copy of that with the help of a printer. Correct? If prints are worked on the paper, you can print words, pictures with the help of a printer. And the printed copy that you get is called a hard copy. Correct? And these can be black and white or color printers as well. Fine? Let's move on to the scanner. You can see that it is just the opposite of printer. What a printer does was it converted the soft copy into a hard copy. Whereas a scanner reads what you have in your hand. Your paper, it reads the text or pictures from the paper and stores them onto the computer. Right? A scanned copy is called a soft copy. Right? Just like a printed copy is called a hard copy. Scan copy that you have is called a soft copy. Right children? Shall we proceed further? Very good. Now these are speakers. These are used to listen to music or any other sound that is stored on the computer. Right? And these are headphones. These are used to listen to music as well as record its sound without disturbing others. You know children, when you play sound and music on a speaker, everybody around you can hear the sounds. But it is not the case with the headphones. When you use a headphone, the only person that is able to hear the sound is you. Nobody else will be disturbed. So, only the person who hears the headphone can hear the sound. Right children? Very good. Now we have a microphone. What is it? our voice and it still comes into the computer. Okay? Right? The computer, the microphone is used to record our voice and different sounds into the computer. Right? Whatever you say is recorded into the computer with the help of this microphone. Now let's see that thought. It says sometimes a cell phone, a uh, sorry, sometimes a headphone and a microphone are attached to each other, right? And it is called a headset. Now let's see what is a CD. A CD stands for compact disc. And what is its use? It is used to store huge amount of data. It is a circle. It is a circle. It is circular in shape and it is used to store huge amount of data. Now we have a similar thing but it is called a DVD. This is also used to store data but this stores more data than the CD and it stands for digital versatile disc. A DVD stands for a digital versatile disc and it stores more data than the CD. Right children? Now what we see here Drive. This is also a storage device and it is also known as flash drive. It stores more data than the CD and DVD. DVD stores more data than the CD and the pen drive stores more data than both CD and DVD. Right? It saves our work in it. It is easy to use and it is so small that you can carry it anywhere in your pocket or your bag. Correct? Very good. Now, let's see what the fact thought tells us. It says you can carry data from one place to another using CDs, DVDs and pen drives. Now, let us recall this chapter, whatever we have done. Main parts of a computer are CPU, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. A monitor looks like a yes, a television. A keyboard has keys that are pressed to type letters, numbers.
without the permission of your teacher or parent. You must keep this thing in mind, children. Right? Let's move on. Let us implement. Let's start doing the exercise, children. Take out your pencils. We'll do this together. So, which of these do you think is the brain of a computer? CPU, monitor, keyboard or a scanner? Right, a CPU is the brain of a computer. Now, dash is used to select and open things on the monitor. Is it a scanner, a mouse, a pen drive or a monitor? Exactly, we use a mouse to select and open things on the computer. And which of these looks like a television? A mouse, a CPU, a monitor or a scanner? Which of these looks like a television? Very good. A monitor looks like a television. Very good children. Let's move on. Now we have fill in the blanks with the correct word. These are the hints that are given to us and we have to use these words in our answer. Let's start with the first one. Dash is the brain of the computer. Which among these do you think is the brain of the computer? Very good. This is the CPU. Tell me what helps us to give instructions to a computer? Keyboard. Very good. Third one says that displays the work we do on a computer. What displays the work? That is the screen, the monitor. Print our work, we use printer. Very good. Right, children? Let's move on to the next exercise. It says, pick the correct statements and cross the wrong ones. Are you doing it with me? Very good. The first one says, TV stores more data than a DVD. Is it true, children? No, a DVD stores more data than the CD. So, this is a wrong statement. So, we will put the cross over here. The next one says it has two or three buttons and a small wheel between the buttons. So, this has a, a mouse only has two buttons and a small wheel. So again, this is a wrong statement. It can 
drive. Exactly. It is a pen drive. A pen drive is also known as a flash drive. Last one says, what is the full form of CD? Yes, CD is known as compact disc. Compact disc. Right children? Is it clear to all of you? Very good. Now let's do this. Who am I? Simply do this with me children. I print your work on the paper. Very good. It is a printer. A printer prints our work on the paper. I am used to listen to music or any other sound stored on a computer. Why do we use to listen to music? We use speakers, right? Very good. Next, I control all the other parts of a computer. So, which part controls all the other parts? The brain of the computer, that is the CPU. Right, children? Very good. Now, I select and open things on the monitor by pressing its buttons. What is this? It is a mouse. Mouse is used to select and open things on the computer. Now, next one says, I read the text for pictures from paper and scores them on a computer. So, what do we use for this purpose? We use scanners. We use scanners to read the text from paper and store them on the computer. It says I display the work that we do on a computer. Where does the work get displayed? On the monitor. Right children? Is it clear? Very good. Let's proceed. Now, we will identify the following pictures and write their name. So, what is this first picture? This is a monitor. Let's write it down. This is a monitor. M-O-N-I. T O R. Now these are exactly these are speakers. This one is a mouse. This here is a pen drive. And what are these? These are headphones. Very good children. And lastly, what is this? This is a scanner. To scan our text or pictures. Right children? Let's move on. So, that was all for this chapter. Stay elated for the next chapter. Bye children.